my way to get the COVID vaccine. Uh, kind of nervous. I know it'll work, but the side effects, you know, it's kind of varied. Uh, some of my classmates have gotten it. I think I'm one of the last stragglers, but I guess we'll see. So the Pfizer vaccination program is an opt-in program and it's by appointment, meaning that you have to check in so that they can verify your eligibility to receive the vaccine and also to document how much supply they have left for that given day. They also outline it uh, on the projector in front of us, uh, which is a nice touch and really reminds you that you're not alone in this. The vaccination station setup is pretty well organized and maintains the CDC guidelines of staying six feet apart. Each station has a healthcare worker who has been trained to administer the vaccine, and they're all equipped with masks, goggles, and gloves uh, to reduce the risk of transmission. Each station also has sanitizing wipes and hazardous waste bins. Before administering the vaccine, they ask you some necessary screening questions that may put you at risk for adverse reactions, such as, do you have any severe allergies to medications? Are you currently on blood thinners or currently pregnant or have an immunocompromising disease at the time? They also give you a handout, which outlines common symptoms after the first dose of the vaccine. Just a reminder, this is the Pfizer vaccine. Uh, I don't really have a choice in the matter. It's just what's available at the time. But they outline the ingredients as well, if you are curious, such as this really long lipid, which looks something like this. I mean this. It's really an inactive ingredient, and the mRNA is what does the work, but won't alter your DNA. It has over 4,000 nucleotides, and it's given in two doses. So once you consent to that, you can get the vaccine. The dose comes out of a vial that looks like this, which is stored at negative 70 degrees Celsius. So it's been a few days since I got the vaccine, and luckily I haven't experienced any major side effects. I did have a little soreness at the injection site the day after, but that's fairly normal. A few minutes after the actual vaccine, uh, my heart rate did spike up a bit. My normal resting heart rate's somewhere in the high 40s to low 50s, uh, but my watch measured it spiking all the way up to 110. I'm not sure why, it might have been nervousness, uh, but otherwise I felt fine and I'm symptom free. I also know a small portion of classmates who experienced, in addition to arm soreness, uh, nausea, headache, fatigue, fever, and chills. The fevers are only prevalent in about 3.7% of people who have gotten the first dose, but it's closer to about 20% in those who have taken the second dose. That's all I have for you today. I hope this video was insightful, and please feel free to share it with someone who has questions about the vaccination process or is maybe hesitant to do so. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.